Hey, what's going on, everyone? Supreme Kami over here. So we are doing some summonings actually over here, but uh, I actually forgot to plug in my mic this time around again. Yep, a little oopsie again. So uh, we're gonna be doing the exclusive part chance capsule tickets over here. I think a lot of people were asking initially um, when we were able to receive 30 tickets in our inbox, and a lot of people were just asking, um, "What? Where's the banner? Like, huh? Where, where's that?" So. Uh, so they actually did drop it a few days later because they kind of have to coincide that with um, gorgeous um, live stream, I guess. I think I think that's what it was. Uh, actually, in the Japanese version of the Twitter page, uh, they did give us a notice on like uh, why they were kind of dropping a lay and all that. But here we are, summoning on this banner over here. So we were just actually going to take a look at what kind of stuff are in this banner. This banner is actually a pretty expandable. Uh, list over here per usual any of these banner it consists of everything from like the beginning of the game we have the new gun version cut up all the way to the cross one gun out which is a pretty recent unit i, I want to say probably within the last two months or so i i want to assume um so any of the newer stuff we're not really into this banner yet but that's pretty much okay i think right now i'm just going to do one summons on the other banner because it was like the official days of like when we actually hit the three year anniversary mark or the two year mark for this game so they did decide to give us another ticket and from this ticket as i was able to get the unicorn get them the luminous version uh the luminous crystal version of it we don't really need i think the only one i wouldn't need from this uh for the unicorn crystal version is probably going to, going to be the leg but unfortunately was not able to get that uh throughout the whole video i did kind of fast forward to two speed just to make things a little bit faster because most of the pool uh, from the ticket where i would say at the beginning they're pretty much okay as you guys gonna see right now they are pretty decent enough um but like later on when i kind of summoned just a little bit more the rate they kind of turned off on me i guess uh because besides this banner i did also wanted to hold back into the uh the double shield quantum banner before it leaves because i really need it I, I would say i just kind of wanted the arm uh just because of the overall 40 percent stat uh part trait after alteration and all that a double 40 percent Obviously, the orb is not something you must get, I would say, because I feel like later on, they will just continuously drop uh, in terms of the different parts of the body. Let's say the head, the torso, leg, and all that, etc. I feel like they will just kind of continue on with the trend of 40%, but I don't think they're going to release it as a mask. Maybe just like one, one, of the, uh, one part of the set, maybe, I don't know, next time. Uh, I did talk about that uh, I was I, as I was doing the East skill showcase with the uh, double shield quanta. I think the next thing I want them to drop is probably gonna be on the melee weapon and then a ranged weapon, just trying to complete the whole set. I think those two, if any new players are grabbing grabbing those two parts specifically, like a forty percent stat for the head, arm, melee weapon, or the other uh, ranged weapon, I think they're pretty much set. To be honest, uh, I, I wouldn't say they need to continue to. Uh, like summon for every week for like a new Sokai festival banner and all that because I feel like 40% would be very sufficient enough to kind of move moving forward into the game and all that but we don't know when is the next time they're gonna up the portrait level or like the percentage to like maybe next time maybe like a 50% but I think that is not gonna be anytime soon maybe like a next year mark because if they were to do that pretty soon uh, in terms of like power creeping like we will see a lot of our current the older Sokas and Gundam Battle Festival part kind of like die out soon, I guess. But that, that's not something they want. I mean, they could do that, but ultimately, a lot of people will just kind of fall off in, in terms of like what they can do, right? But like I said, in this game, like in the current state of the game, I think it's pretty evenly split with people who want to be on like really competitive side, uh, whether, whether where they were someone like every week or something like that. But you also have players on the other spectrum that really only cares about the aesthetic. You know, taking picture in the uh, the photo booth of like different different parts, different color. I think that's that's why that was that is what makes this game a lot more unique than you would say your your other traditional Gundam game because you know you you do have the ability to kind of customize what kind of parts you like uh, because there's so there's abundance of selection from the standard pools where I think a lot of people kind of take advantage of that and just pick a custom unit of themselves and that is I. I you know that's what people enjoy the most right just just trying to build something they can't physically build in real life because it's not cheap to buy actual gunplay kits and not to talk about the price like getting the space to build all your gunplay parts is not not even not even on the same level as having 
just having everything on a uh, mobile game, right? So I think, I think there is going to be like evenly split, I would say. So I'll, not a lot of people will obviously summon for these parts. Like, uh, I'm going to mention it again. I feel like the Double Shield Quanta is not by far the most popular unit to even summon for. So I feel like even though it is like a second year anniversary headline unit, uh, I feel like a lot of people will not really go for it in, in such a manner. I feel like they would rather save their horror chips on something they really like. I mean like even the Strike Freedom and Infinite Justice when they came back this time around. I feel like a lot of people will summon on them despite the fact that they may not be the best of the part in comparison to what we have nowadays. But nonetheless the popularity for the Strike Freedom and Infinite Justice are still as high as they ever been. I think just the overall designs and just their overall mechanics, right? Uh, the full burst form from the Strike Freedom is just and it's just crazy, right? Even me personally, if I if if there is no strings behind like stats and portrait, I would definitely summon for uh, I, I I would definitely summon summon for the Strike Freedom over over like the sheer quanta by all means, but you know, just because of the sheer stats and portrait from the sheer quanta itself, like I I had to do it, right? <laughs> So, as you guys can see right now, I did manage to pull the double shear quantum arm, luckily. So I did not really have to go back in, into that banner anymore, except I would say for the Helios banner. Uh, as for the Helios banner, I didn't really do too many summons on that because that banner is not going away into, what, August 31st. So I do have plenty of time if I so choose to, you know, go back into get more parts. I think, I think I, at this point in time, I am missing quite a lot of parts like the torso, the leg, and then the beam saber and then the beam rifle. Um, other than that, I was able to get the main part of the head. That was probably the most important part I would like to get at that time. So uh, I think right now we're just gonna burn off the last remaining 10 tickets, which they were pretty bad. So I think it's pretty safe to say I'm gonna pretty much end the video at this point. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna uh, commentate any further than that. So just basically cover, just you know, do like a little bit of a, um, you know, over like. I talk over the video and just you know talk to you guys about stuff I was just in my head and all that. So that being said, hopefully you guys did enjoy watching this short uh free take summons over here and hopefully you guys did have best of luck in your summons as well, right? Because like these are all free tickets, so we can't really like uh blame the ticket for not giving us like the five star part. Like free tickets are the best tickets to summon on, right? So that being said, hopefully you guys pulled were good, really good. And that being said, I will catch you guys all on the next one.